Hello, this is Logan Wells with Dream Guitars, and with me in the shop today, we have an absolute treasure. Uh, this is our latest guitar from Dion Guitars. Um, this was a, a spec build, um, so we, we spec this one out with Dion. Um, it, is, it is his number four, or number zero four, cutaway model, with Engelman spruce on top, and some really gorgeous Coca-Bola rosewood for the back and sides. Part of Dion's aesthetic is to be understated, to let the curves speak for themselves, um, and to let the materials speak for themselves. So here we have that. Um, we have a rock light bridge, and we have this black rosette and dark um, bindings throughout, also rock light. And, and that's what we have for our aesthetic. Um, we, ha we have a couple of small wood blocks inlaid at various places as well. Other than that, um, we have the curves and the quality of the wood um, on display here, and I am such a fan of that. I'm also a fan of uh, the voice on this guitar, um, especially the bottom end. Um, it's quick and lively. It's a good mixture of darkness and um, kind of a... Uh, lightness isn't quite the right word. Um, crispness? Yeah, there's, there's like a crisp clarity um, quality to it. Um, and it's a, this one works really well for fingers. Um, I haven't spent time with a flat pick, but I imagine the Engelman spruce um, is gonna offer enough headroom where you could dig in. Um, additionally, this also has a slightly elevated fingerboard and a lovely sound port, a little more me in the monitor. So, now the body is a, um, it's a UV cured polyester finish, but the neck is a hand burnished eco epoxy, and it feels really lovely in hand. Um, it's it's got sort of a satin or an oil finish feel, um, so you don't have to worry about those squeaky hand slides on this one. Um, it's very smooth, and I think if you have sweaty palms like I do, um, you're not gonna get stuck. Um, this one's just super smooth and easy playing. Uh, rock light for the fretboard as well. And uh, Dion does this really cool thing where the nut is sort of inlaid into the fretboard itself. Um, it's not at the end of the fretboard, it's actually part of it here. So it's pretty sweet. And the neck is actually Spanish cedar. Um, kind of a darker color than I see on a lot of Spanish cedar, but looks really good here, especially with that eco epoxy finish I was mentioning before. Really beautiful stuff. And here we come to this back. Um, also, before we get to the back, I wanna mention it has a low profile um, heel here, which I'm a big fan of. Um, that means that you can more easily get up to these uppermost frets. You don't have this big hunk of wood preventing, you know, you're blocking your thumb. Um, yeah, looks good. Uh, very clean lines, very clean builds. Um, Dion builds very cleanly. Um, this is a great example of that. And let's talk about this this rosewood. Um, this is a Cocobolo set. Um, it's it's darker than I see on a lot of Cocobolo. Um, it's more of a brick red, um, darker color, which is pretty sweet. And another cool visual feature about this uh, particular set is you have a nice little bit of chatoyance, um, which is a three dimensional kind of a watering uh, water like figuring. Um, it's sort of a it's actually an illusion. Um, so this is, of course is not three dimensional water. Um, but that's not something I usually see on rosewoods. It's something I see on uh, myrtle woods, acacias, um, maple, of course. But it's a nice little detail here. Um, I also love this light strip here, right in the center. And here we are back at the side. Again, lovely sound port. Mm-hmm. So 
So, this 2021 model number 04C comes with us, comes to us with Coco Bolo back and sides and Ingham and Spruce on top. If you are interested, please give us a shout. Uh, happy to talk to you about this one uh, ad nauseum. <laughs> Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you. 